life is not a race. Once upon a time, in a small village, lived a young athletic boy. He was a very good runner. The boy was very hungry for success, and for him winning was everything. He measured the success just by winning. One day that boy participated in running competition held in village. A large crowd had gathered to witness the sporting spectacle, and a wise old man, upon hearing of the little boy, had traveled far to bear the witness also. In that competition, he competed with other two little boys. The race commenced, looking like a level heat at the finishing line. The little boy, sure enough called, on his determination, power and strength, he took the winning line and came first. The crowd was ecstatic and cheered and waved at him. Little boy felt proud and important. The wise man, however, remained still and calm, expressing no sentiment. Later, a second race was called, and in this race, two new young and fit challengers came forward and run in competition with little boy. The race was started, and sure enough, the little boy came through and finished first once again. Crowd was ecstatic again and cheered and waved at the little boy. The wise man remained still and calm, again expressing no sentiment. The little boy, however, again felt proud and more important. He started to plead another race, another race. Seeing this, the wise old man stepped forward and presented the little boy with two new challengers. Among new challengers, one was an elderly frail old lady, and other was a blind man. What's this? Quizzed the little boy. This is no race, he exclaimed. Old wise man replied, race. After all were set on starting line, race started, and boy was only one to finish that race. Leaving two challengers standing at the starting line, the little boy was ecstatic and raised his arms in delight. But to his surprise, this time, no one from crowd was cheering. Everyone was just looking at him silently, showing no sentiment. What has happened? Why not do the people join in my success? Little boy asked wise old man. Wise old man replied, race again, but this time finish together. All three of you must finish together. Little boy thought for a while and then again went to starting line and stood in middle of frail old lady and the blind man. Then he took both the challengers by the hand. The race began and the little boy started to walk slowly, ever so slowly to the finishing line and crossed it, this time, at the end of race crowd was delighted. They smiled, cheered and waved at the little boy. The wise old man smiled and gently nodding his head. Little boy felt proud, but still didn't understand why crowd was not cheering him before. But now cheering when all three of them finished race together. He asked, old man about it. Old man, I understand not. Who are the crowd cheering for? Which one of us three? The wise old man looked into the little boy's eyes, placing his hands on the boy's shoulders. He replied softly, Little boy, in this race, you have won much more than in any race you have ever run before. You have won people's respect, and for this race crowd cheer not for any winner. They cheer to show the respect, how you ran. Moral, you see in your life. Your life, what are you running for? Are you hungry for success? Is winning the only measurement of success for you in your life? Who are you running against? If you always win against everybody, then soon the people will stop cheering for you at the end of your life. If you look back, the question is, who was running next to you in the race? If they were weaker and old, did you help them to get across the line? Did you all finish together? Because that is the best race you can ever run, so run. Run this race called life. But don't forget, it is not important if you win it is important how you run this race. Thank you for watching and subscribe us for more videos like this.